Hi, I'm Dr. Adam Fields. I am sorry you took a bad fall. And I am here for you though. You probably have a brace on, maybe it's a Sarmiento brace or maybe it's a brace like this. That's between you and your doctor. What I have is a series of videos to help you get through this and then aftercare. So you and I are gonna to be together for, boy, six to 12 months at least. So check in with your doctor along the way and your healthcare providers and go to them and make sure that you are ready for the next level. Some people, this takes, they go fast and some people go slow. So I've broken it up into phases rather than weeks. Um, let's start out by working above and below the injury. And don't, if, if you get a sharp pain, back off. Listen to your body. You're doing this at your own risk, okay? So, but we can start with the neck. I know that's gonna feel okay. Let's go ahead and just work side to side, just like this. This is day one of moving on. I know you're in a gnarly spot right now and just move your head back and forth. We don't, you know, we tend to contract our traps at moments like this and we want to get them to stretch out and get relaxed. We don't want to lose any other part just because your humerus is fractured and we want to decrease some fibrosis and adhesions. You're going to need some things along the way. Let's go ahead and rotate. You're definitely going to need uh, a lacrosse ball um, in the future. A uh, Theracane will work out good for you also, but that's not for a while. And I'll be cueing you along the way in each video, things that you might need to get. I'll put links down below in the, in the description for everything. And just move that head back and forth. If you're moving slower than I am, that's fine. I don't have a broken arm at this point. I just put the brace on. It's time to be very grateful for those people in your life, your healthcare providers, your friends, your family that are helping you at this time. And that employer who's understanding because you're missing time off. And let's go into healing mode. You're gonna do this video at least a couple of times a day just to keep everything moving for the, probably at least a couple, at least the first two, three weeks. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, we're going to do some massage. I want you to take your non-involved side and you're going to start by gently massaging what's called your pectoralis minor muscle, okay? If this is hurting too much, don't do this, right? So you're going to go just below your clavicle and you're going to get in there. You're going to feel it's going to be a little tender right now. You've, you've, you've maybe traumatized it a little bit. It's going to be a little bit sore. We don't want it to get spasm. There are nerves that run under there and that can start affecting and giving you numbness in your arm, etc. But let's just do a little massage on that. Ooh, I feel it's even tender in me. Come on now. You're brave. You're getting through this. And just work that muscle. Okay, we're going to work. We're not going to work here yet. We will work that later, but we're going to go ahead and work the traps. Just right up in here. Take your fingers and work that upper trap. Let's go ahead and show you this. And just dig it in there. Don't be afraid to dig in as long as you're not getting sharp pains in your shoulder. I'd love to hear your stories. I'd love to hear how you got in the situation you're in and how you're getting out of it and how this is working. I'm inspired by people overcoming difficult situations and just work it. Gosh, I'm getting a massage myself. Okay, now just shake that hand out and let's go ahead and go on your neck. So go ahead and just work the neck just like this, just kneading that side. Get on in. Okay, so Bring that down, it's time to just pinch and curl. So again, if this hurts, don't do it, skip this time, or just barely do it, okay? So I'll, I'll start with barely doing it. You're gonna curl the shoulders and pinch the shoulders, just like that. So we're working the scapula, that scapula, that wing bone there that has to glide over the ribs. If you've 
broken your arm, there might be some other things going on, maybe some soft tissue damage. In my office, I would have people come in for a class for laser therapy at this point. And just pinch and bring it together super cautiously. There you go. Good job. Pinching a little bit and bring it. Pinching and bring it forward. So it's time to promise yourself right now that you are going to work on yourself every day. That's your job right now. It's what you're doing. It's who you are at this point, um, or largely who you are. So let's be committed. Um, I got inspired to do this because uh, someone very close to me had a humerus fracture and we went to physical therapy and it just seemed kind of nebulous. You know, you get like one new exercise a week and Sometimes people can feel alone in the middle of it and they're looking at a piece of paper trying to figure this out. Well, I wanted to provide something for people to follow along as they continue to see their physical therapist. All right, so we're going to go ahead and um, work your wrist now. This is an important place. We're going to flex. We're going to flex the fingers, open the fingers, flex the fingers, open the fingers. I'm a chiropractor. I'm not a physical therapist or a medical doctor. But I do see this type of thing in my office, probably not in week one through three generally, but I see them a little bit later. You can just flex and extend. Good. Let's keep those fingers moving. We don't want any collateral damage here. Good. So let's go ahead now. We're going to take the wrist and we're going to bring the wrist back and bring the wrist forward. Wrist back. Wrist forward. I know this is pretty, it's not what you considered exercise before this injury, but right now this is exercise for you. You're exercising. Welcome to exercising. Go ahead. Keep going with the wrist. There you go. Okay, now we're going to try something. See if you can do it. We're going to supinate like this with the wrist. Supinate. Think of you holding a bowl of soup and then pronating like this. If this is too much on that shoulder, just barely do it, okay? Probably the first time you do it, you'll barely do it. And then now, if you've progressed, you're fully going into that end range motion. The shoulder, if it doesn't feel supported, you can even take uh, your opposite arm and support that elbow so that that arm is not hanging down too intensely. We're gonna start very soon on some pendulum exercises, but we're clearly not there yet. You will get there though. Celebrate each little step. Okay, now we're gonna do little circles with the wrists. Let's just do circles like this with your wrist. And let's go the other direction. Okay, now let that take a breath. Let your shoulders relax if you can. Give yourself a smile. Smile in the midst of adversity. Okay, we're gonna nod the head. Yes, just like this, looking up and looking down. Good. There you go. You're allowed about Five minutes of poor me a week. That's it. Ah, this stinks. I can't stand it. Arr, oh, can't do that. I can't see that person. Oh, there's a party. I want to go. To. Arr, I don't want to go. Right? Okay. Then you just, then you leave it because it doesn't work. Okay. I've tried it. I've seen other people try it. It doesn't work. Poor me doesn't work. I'm getting better every day works. So that's your new mantra. I'm getting better every day. Let's hear it. Say it. One more time. Good, I'm getting better every day. And just nod that head. Good. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is scapular clocks. Okay, again, if you're, if you're fresh out of this week one, this might be a little challenging to so just barely hint at it. Okay, we're just gonna bring the scapula, the shoulders up to 12 o'clock. Good, down, 
And we're gonna go to one o'clock. Pull them down. Two o'clock. Down. Three o'clock. Down. We're gonna go to four o'clock. Back up. Five. Six. Down to seven. And back up. Eight. Back up. Nine. Here we go. 10, 11, 12, here we go, one, one, very good. I recommend you getting, I put a link for some D3 and K2, it's gonna help your bones regenerate. If you don't like that, uh, you can go, you can get some something called Bone Up on Amazon. Um, let's do this journey, I'm gonna see you twice today, at least.